Hi and welcome. Well, today I have my project Little Treasures Rolling Pan. This is a collab with Mary from Reviewer's Diary. This is a year long project pan. We're rolling uh, products, um, travel size products from our collection, and we're trying to um, downsize our collection uh, from the minis and the travel size. And uh, let's see what I have finished so far. The first thing is from Clinique, and this one I used it for spot treating my acne, and this is a really good product. I really recommend it. The next thing that I finished, it's a living conditioner, and I really liked it because I sprayed it at night, and then in the morning my hair came out really soft and really manageable. I really love this this uh, living conditioner. The next is by Stravecta, and it's a uh, multi action and it's a uh, this is like a clay mask and it was wide and then I rubbed it in circular motion and it turned blue and it was very very nice at the end my skin felt really soft and hydrated the next is my matcha cream my matcha cream my matcha mask by uh, Bosha and I used it six times and uh, this was a really nice mask I liked it because uh, the first three days it was like a little bit dry my skin but then afterward it was super super hydrated I really like this mask the next is by Pacifica and it's a kale detoxify deep cleansing face wash I really like the, this one because it's very gentle on my skin the next is by Wonder Beauty and it's lift off and it, this is a mask and it's a peeling peel off mask I really like this the next is by Lancome, and this is a makeup remover. I really like this. This one really reminded me of uh, the one by Tarte. The next is a mattifying uh, cream by Origin. This is a moisturizer. I really like this because when I was really oily, I will use this, and it will leave my skin very matte and very nice. The next is by Glam Glow, and this is a super cleanser, and I really like it because um, it left my skin very nice, very clean. I like that it left it like sort of squeaky clean. So I really like this by Glam Glow. The next is a face oil by Kors. And I liked it because uh, it left my skin very hydrated. What I didn't like was the dispenser. I couldn't really use the dropper at all. But I would definitely recommend it just for the product itself. Uh, the next is a face mask and this I used five times and this is by the brand fresh this was sort of like a scrub and a face mask all together and it was really nice because at the end it left my skin glowy and very soft the next this I love the rose face mask by fresh um, it was very nice because it left my skin super hydrated the next is by uh, Clarence and uh, this is a serum I liked it a lot because it left my skin very hydrated and uh, I really like this the next thing is a toner and this is by pixie by Petra and I love this because it left my skin super glowy love this and then the next is a serum by juice beauty and I really liked it because it really hydrated my skin the next is by Paula Choice and this is a uh, eye cream. I didn't really like it. I thought it was a bit mediocre and I will not repurchase it and if I get it in a box I will just pass it on to friends and family. And the stuff that I truly hated was this Glam Glow mask. Uh, the first day that I put it on it burned my skin and it was really hard on my skin and I just hated it overall. This was the worst mask I have ever used. Those are the products that I have used. And uh, the products that I still have to finish is the Tarte Makeup Remover. Maybe by next update I'll finish that. And then I have my Maracuja Oil, which I'm almost done. So by next update I'll be done. And then I have my Fresh Moisturizer, which I have uh, half of it done. By next update I'll definitely be finished. And now the stuff that I haven't finished is this, which is... I'm going to go super fast, of Body Oil by Derma E, and this is a, a night cream. 
Mm, hold on. Um, a face mask by Origins. Tata Harper face mask. Another Tata Harper face mask, which I am very excited to use. By Beauty is scrub and uh, lip gloss. Uh, Peter Thomas Roth moisturizer. First Aid Beauty, and this is a mask, a jelly mask from First Aid Beauty. The next is by Bosha, and it's a cleanser. The next is by Perco MD, and this is a serum, a face serum. Very nice. The next is by Kate Somerville. The next is by Kiehl's, and this is the night oil by Kiehl's. The next is a stick cleanser by Tarte. The next is by Marcel, and this is a tint moisturizer. Very nice. <laughs> the next is by Nux, and it's a face oil. The next is a eye, um, eye cream. And then uh, the next is a sunscreen. And then the next is by Clarence, and it's a hydrating uh, moisturizer. Those are the ones that I still need to finish. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 18 products that I still have to finish and these are the ones that I'm going to roll in which is a Living Proof um, Detangler Good Jeans by Sunday Riley oh. Origins and it's a cleanser Another uh, oil by Kilt's, a night oil and this is a Josie Moran this is a Josie Moran Finish Balm an air repair moisturizer. Uh, let's see, this one is a moisturizer. Real Chemist, and this is a cleanser by Real Chemist. And this is Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. This is by Pure Elise, and it's a Blue Lotus Mud Mask by Pure Elise. Another one by Pure Elise, but this is a matcha cream, a matcha mud mask. A Pixie by Petra a toner. An eye cream by Origins. A Josie Moran a whip face show. And a, a what's it called? Pep Start by Clinique. And uh, by Kata Lee, and this is an essence. Well, there you have my products that I'm trying to use for um, the month of June. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe and become a member of this wonderful family. And don't forget to go check out Mary from Reviewer's Diary. She has great content. Well, until then, love you. Mwah.